Let's get squashing some bugs. It's Bug Slugger Issue 3 Review now. Hey everybody, Jam Creates here, and today we are doing a review of Bug Slugger. Bug Slugger. <laughs> I messed that up. Anyway, Bug Slugger, issue number three from Wes Loker and Loch Ness. Um, this team has been uh, putting this book together. It is exclusively digital, so it's only available to folks who like to read digitally. Um, while you're here, by the way, just want to remind you guys to, if it's your first time here, click the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, click the thumbs up. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, click the thumbs up anyway, because really, who's going to know? Anyway, um, while you're here, you know, I would like to say a thank you for being here. Thank you to all my subscribers. We finally broke that 300, that big 300, baby. Um, insert bad. This is Sparta reference right now. Um, no, for real, um, genuinely. Thank you to everybody out there who's subbed to the channel and to anyone else who hasn't subbed. Why not? Dude, be part of the fun. Um, we have fun here. We talk comics. We don't do drama. We do fun. Um, so anyway, I say I'm a lot too. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to deal with it. I don't edit that, edit that stuff out. I did enough of that when I worked in broadcasting. Anyway, you can... Uh, Follow me on Twitter at jam underscore creates. You can follow me on the gram at insta at insta <laughs> at jam underscore creates. Oh my god, my brain is not functioning today. Anyway, uh, if you want to find out more about like cool indie underground titles that maybe you've never even heard of, like maybe Bug Slugger, perhaps go to indiecomicsunderground.com. What is indiecomicsunderground.com? It is the website for my zine, my free online zine dedicated to indie and crowdfunded comics. You'll find all sorts of cool things there. Interviews with creators, previews, uh, artist spotlights, original art, all kinds of really, really cool stuff. Uh, links to everything. So anything you see in there that looks cool to you, there's links to it and you can check it out. So you can find out about cool stuff like Bug Slugger here. So let's get into this. This is a today's topic. Bug Slugger, a number three. Uh, this is, like I said, it is by Wes Loker and Loch Ness. This team, um, if you've watched the channel, you may have seen I've done reviews of issues one and two. And this is issue three. And I enjoyed both of those. And this is issue three. And the ridiculousness continues. So when we last left off, our hero, the Chimerian, um, no longer had his magical slap bracelet that turned him into the Chimerian. He's just his normal self, while the other superpowered being that's with him who has all these other slap bracelets was like, no, you have to earn it. So and they're face to face with Narwhal, who is I mean, Helen, who is a Narwhal, who is in charge of like a bad organization. So they were in a fight club is all sorts of crazy stuff. The silliness kicks up into even another level as if that was even possible after the previous issue. Um, so pretty much what I want to say first and foremost is uh, if you are into comedy and just ridiculous comedy, this book is going to hit you just right. Um, if you're looking for nothing but dour, serious, dark, this is not the book for you. Um, but if you're looking for fun, silly, just good times, this, this book is definitely for you. And I, like I said, I think the way they've gone so far, and this is actually a really fantastic trend. Issue one was really funny. Issue two, featuring a special appearance by Steve Urkel, was even funnier and issue three here is even funnier than issue two was. So we're on the right trajectory here. If they're, if it's getting funnier and funnier as we go along, that's even better. Um, and there's also some, there's so many just silly jokes and they go for every joke. And I love that. I love when something is not afraid to just go for every ridiculous joke 
under the sun. Like if you've ever, if you've, if you've ever watched like an airplane, the, you know, the airplane movies or the naked gun movies, any of that stuff, um, or like space balls, anything like, like they're not afraid to just go for every joke. Um, and that's really what you have here in this book. They're going for like every joke. And it's a lot of fun references. If you're a nineties, per- if you're somebody who remembers the nineties and like the super Sentai, and then not just that though, if you remember just the nineties in general, like you're going to be all over this. I mean, like I said, Steve Urkel appeared in the last episode. You can see right here, if you look carefully at that panel up on the top, you can see Stone Cold Steve Austin there. Um, just all kinds of just crazy references. Um, and they continue this gag that they've been doing throughout the series of sound effects that are just ridiculous. Um, but they're so they're, they're great. Like, they're absolutely funny. Um so they're fighting for their lives against these crickets and she still refuses to give him back his, his uh, slap bracelet. And I love this down at the bottom here. Well, first of all, I like when he says, welcome to Sizzler. And then you can see below the, the sound effect as the flames are coming out of the fire, the flamethrower, it says fry daddy that I just thought was funny. Um, this, oh, so, so they wind up, there's a spaceship, the bad guy's getting away they have to try and get up there. I like this whole thing about throw me. You like, ah, I changed my mind uh, and bug chucker and all that. Like, and then there's honestly like, for, well, this is the other thing. The skip it makes an appearance. I don't know if you remember the skip it, but they literally have like the song in here and then it's actually got a bomb to it. So it explodes the nostalgia nuke. Um, just so many like and the moon there's so many references and so much craziness in this book and especially when you get later there's a couple of aliens that we meet that are their names are great i don't want to spoil it um because i'd rather you just see the joke for yourself but and you'll know exactly if, if you read it you'll know exactly who i'm talking about there's a pair of aliens and their name their names, I should say, are really, a, they're just, it's funny when you see what their names are. Um, so, and like I said, you can just see like they don't, they're not afraid to be silly, to have fun, to do some silly stuff. And then at the end, it's funny because it, it's silly. And like I said, if you're looking for like super serious dour stuff, obviously this is not it. But the funny thing is, is as things go on, the tensions and the um the stakes genuinely get raised as we go on, which is cool. Like this is funny as could be, and yet at the same time, you've got raising stakes and like you've got things coming that are like absolutely like making you invested in the characters being able to overcome the odds, which is really a tough act to pull off. Honestly. I mean, think about it. You've got, you know, a silly comic. It's funny. It's silly. And at the same time, when you get to the end of this book, you're going to be like, Oh, snap bracelet. Um, trust me. It's, it's, it's good stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, the art continues to be uh, colorful and fun and energetic. Um, the story, like I said, continues to be just silly and funny and goofy. And yet at the same time, raise the stakes and actually make you care about what's happening. And there's a big reveal about our main character, the Chimerian, that you realize something about him that you didn't maybe know. I mean, you, you, you maybe could have guessed, but... You know, this is it, it's just it's neat and 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 it actually genuinely makes you care about the characters while at the same time just laughing your butt off. Um, and that is a really, really tough act to pull off. So I give uh Wes Loker and Loch Ness a ton of credit for what they have created here. Uh, I am a big fan of this series, I absolutely am. Unfortunately, the series is only available digitally, um, it's available on Comixology. And it is available on Gumroad. Uh, so if you have Comixology, you can go ahead and just get it. It's two dollars an issue. It's not like it's expensive. Um, it's it's a dollar ninety nine for each issue. Um, the last review I did of issue two, I wasn't sure of the price, but yeah, it's a dollar ninety nine for each issue, and it's honestly it's worth it. It's a lot of fun, and um, 
you know, if you'd rather have a PDF that you can hold on to as opposed to um, the Comixology version, you can go to the Gumroad version, uh, their, their Gumroad store, and you can download it that way. And I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a link uh, in the description uh, to either one or both of the uh, ways that you can get it. So if you're curious and you want to check it out, um, you can. I'll just put the link down below so you can check out either their Comixology or their Gumroad store, and you could get it either way, is whichever way you would like to have it. Um, so that is our hour. That is my review of Bug Slugger issue three. I continue to love this series, and it continues to get funnier and funnier, which is really, uh, really something special. Um, so I would absolutely, you know, I, I hundred percent recommend checking this one out. Uh, Wes is a good guy. He's put out books like unit 44, um, for, for, uh, that came out through Alterna. He's got, uh, Arai, which came out through action lab. And, um, now he's got this series, which he's putting out himself through, like I said, through comiXology, through Gumroad, um, good creator, good guy, really you know, puts his heart into his stuff and, and he can write comedy. He's done comedy. Obviously he can really write comedy. Um, it's genuinely good stuff. And the art, the art is fun. It fits the story. Um, so I definitely recommend giving this one a look. If you haven't yet go back and, and you can watch my reviews of issue one and two and decide if you think it's something you would like to check out. But I love showing you guys stuff that maybe you've haven't seen or haven't heard of. And I just wanted to, the reason I wanted to keep reviewing the issues of this as it went is because it's actually getting better and better as it's going. It's getting funnier and funnier as it goes along. So I really don't want you guys to miss out on this. I, I genuinely enjoy this series and keep looking forward to each issue as they come out. So I definitely would recommend you guys go back, pick up all three issues and check them out. It's a lot of fun. So that is Bug Slugger number three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please click that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. And if you want to hear about more cool indie books that you might not have heard of, definitely check out Indie Comics Underground. You can read all the previous issues. We've had seven issues so far, and you can read all of them. Our last issue, the seventh issue, only came out a few weeks ago, and it is huge. It's almost 80 pages of content. Um, just a ton of stuff, interviews with creators, previews, art, all sorts of good stuff. Um, and I'm working on the new issue as we speak. Um, and you definitely want to check out like the, the sweet covers I have, and you can read every previous issue there. And while you're there, you can subscribe to Indie Comics Underground. And if you subscribe, you will get early access to every issue before the rest of the internet. You get your copy emailed directly to your email before the rest of the internet gets it. So you can be one of the cool kids and read it first. And then when they're all like, did you see the new copy of the new issue of ICU? And it's got this in it. And it's got th this cool book I saw. And you'd be like, yeah. I read it already. Uh, so anyway, uh, with that out of the way, I will talk to you guys again soon. I'll have more comic reviews coming. I've got stuff from Alternative Review. I've got crowdfunded books that came in to review. I've got a ton of stuff piling up to review. Uh, so I definitely want to get on that. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace out.